Like the belt and tensioner, ADPs are a wear item and should be included in a regular preventative maintenance program. If a high mileage belt needs to be replaced, then the automatic tensioner and decoupler pulley should be checked or replaced at the same time to protect the life of the accessory belt drive system. Here's what you need to know in order to inspect an ADP. The most common problem on higher mileage ADPs is bearing noise during engine shutdown. This can easily be checked by asking an assistant to place the car in park, or if it's a manual transmission, in neutral, and rev the engine speed to 2,000 to 2,500 RPM. Have your assistant shut the engine off while it is at the speed while you listen for any bearing noises coming from the pulley. A damaged or worn bearing will generate a buzzing noise for 5 to 10 seconds after the engine is shut off. If you hear buzzing, the ADP should be replaced, along with the belt and automatic tensioner. Other tests can be conducted with the engine off and the transmission in neutral. For inspection and replacement, specialized tools are necessary. This toolkit is available from Gates and includes the tools needed to replace ADPs. Using a screwdriver, remove the plastic cap. The cap can be removed by pushing the screwdriver through the center and prying up, or by placing the screwdriver in the cap groove. With the cap removed, look at the design of the ADP center and determine which tool configuration fits the pulley being tested. With a calibrated torque wrench, insert the proper tool in the shaft and rotate in both directions. Both type of decoupler pulleys will rotate freely and smoothly in one direction and lock in the opposite direction. The OAD design will have a spring feel. If the shaft spins in both directions or slips in the drive direction under load, then immediate replacement is required. Of course, if the ADP does not spin freely and smoothly in the opposite direction or overrun direction, it must be replaced. If the OAD pulley has no spring feel in the drive direction or requires more than 9 to 13 inch pounds or 1 to 1 and a half newton meters to turn in the overrun direction, it should be replaced. Another test would be to remove the ADP cap and look for any metal shavings. If metal shavings are present, this indicates an internal failure. The ADP needs to be replaced. ADP replacement is a simple procedure with the correct tools. A Gates ADP toolkit includes all the necessary sockets and half-inch drivers needed. It is worth noting that there are many remanufactured alternators on the market that do not have the correct pulley installed. This can make it difficult to determine which tool to use. As noted previously, the ADP designs are not interchangeable. In many cases, the pulley can be replaced without removing the alternator. On some vehicles, like the Chrysler Voyager or Town & Country, it's difficult to get to the alternator and ADP while on the vehicle. So for this demonstration, the alternator has been removed and placed in a bench vise. Begin by removing the plastic cap with a screwdriver or pick. The cap can be pried off by inserting the screwdriver through the center of the cap or placing it under the edge of the cap. You will replace the cap with a new one, included with your new ADP. Next, select the correct tool for the ADP by matching up the center design to the corresponding tool. Since you may not be able to see the center design of the alternator shaft, it may be necessary to try several of the half-inch drivers to determine which one fits the alternator shaft. Place the half-inch driver through the center of the ADP tool and hold the tool in place with a box-in wrench. Then, attach a half-inch drive ratchet to the driver tool. The alternator shaft is then rotated counterclockwise for right-hand threaded pulleys and clockwise for left-hand threaded pulleys. The instructions included with the new ADP state the correct direction of rotation. Installation is the reverse process. Spin the new decoupler pulley on the alternator shaft so that it is hand tight. Insert the tools into the shaft and hold the ADP tool in place with the box end wrench. With a calibrated torque wrench and the correct socket, tighten the pulley on the shaft to 65 foot-pounds or 90 newton meters, unless otherwise specified by the manufacturer on the instruction sheet included with each new ADP. Replace the plastic cap with the new one supplied with the pulley. Look for the molded circle and the number on the center of the cap. This should be placed down when installing the cap. The alternator can now be reinstalled on the vehicle. Here's what you need to remember about these high-tech ADPs. They are designed to reduce noise and vibration and improve the durability of your belt drive system. But, decoupler pulleys are not interchangeable. Always check the catalog and replace with the same OE type decoupler pulley that your vehicle came with. The estimated life of a decoupler pulley is about the same as the belt and the tensioner. So always replace the pulley, belt, and tensioner at the same time. 
You don't want the frustration and unnecessary expense by having to replace yet another failed component a short time later. These patented ADPs and installation tools are available from Gates, so you have the confidence that you'll be installing the right part and protecting the life of your belt drive system.